Welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now we're going to do a lesson on how to play backup chords using the fiddle. And in particular, in this lesson, we're going to focus on rhythms you can do as a backup player. I have a whole bunch of other videos up on, on how to play the chords, how to find the various chords, and I'll put links to those below. This is more meant to be uh, maybe one you watch after those, or in conjunction with. Um, and basically it'll just give you some ideas for ways to add rhythmic texture, kind of make it interesting what you play while you're playing the chords. Okay, so I'm going to assume you know a little bit about the chords, but I'll kind of really briefly review that open D and open A is a D major chord. And then first on D and open A is an A major chord. Let's just work with those two, I think, today, um, and in this lesson anyway. And uh, so let's look at tunes that are like 4-4 four, four tunes, like reels, polkas, things like that. Things like Arkansas Traveler, Old Joe Clark, um, Irish tunes like Rakish Patty, or anything that's 4-4. Four, four. Hornpipes, too. Um, and... Uh, so the most basic chord we can do, like let's say we have um, four counts of D and four counts of A, or in, in other words, an, a bar of D and a bar of A. The most basic thing you can do would be just, um, I think the most basic thing is four quarter notes for each, like D, two, three, four, A, two. That's just the simplest rhythm to get into. Longer notes are actually a little harder to play well, especially with double stops. And then, and then we have a lot of shorter notes and kind of patterns we could play. So, but the very most basic thing again is quarter notes. Let's do it again. And, and uh, I'm gonna play it for a little while, going from D to A with quarter notes, and we're just gonna loop on this, okay? Three. D A T A and you can continue that on your own more. Let's first look at longer notes you could do. You could do half notes which would be two longer bows like D could do um, whole notes, which would be one long bow for four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and so um, those are useful, can be really nice for certain things, especially songs, things where people are you know, voices are going, you don't want, you want to keep it like more of a pad of sound. That's a really nice one. Um, now let's look at um, eighth notes going the other direction. So that would be like one and two and two and four and two. All right. So um, an easy way to accent that is the first of every four eighth notes, like That's where the accent comes on one, two, three. It comes on one and three. We can also do what's called an offbeat accent, and an, and so that would be two and four, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. So I sometimes call this rhythm, the eighth notes, kind of chugging eighth notes, uh, the train. And uh, so that's one way to remember it. And you'll kind of hear things related to that rhythm uh, a lot in like bluegrass and old timey. Um, and now related to that, we could do uh, a pattern called tucka. It's a kind of, I teach as a beginning pattern, which is four shorts, two longs. So tucka, two. Now on A. We 
could also do hoedown. With hoedown on this, we do two hoedowns for each each chord. So we do like hoedown on D twice. Hoedown, by the way, is long, short, short. Um, okay. And then with hoedown, you can add an offbeat accent. So you could also accent the first short note, like. All right. So I think that's it for four, four type tunes. That's good to get you going. You can always uh, mix and match things, but those, kind of basic rhythms, some longer notes, and then the shorter notes, and hoedown and tucka patterns. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I guess you could do a uh, practice swing, like swing eighth notes. That's like a, a gentle long short. You could add swing to the, to like hoedown, like. Or to tucka tucka tucka. It's just like a gentle long short, long short, long short. All right, so let's move on to the other main type of tunes I teach, which is things um, in sort of triplet feel, mainly jigs. We do a lot of jigs and some waltzes, but and so let's say we're doing the same chord progression D to A, but with a jig. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. In this case, um, the easiest thing is is a long bow. I'll just do it once and then explain what. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six. A one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. Meanwhile, the tune is like that's a little bit of Tobin's jig. Um, so, um, for those of you who read music, when we do this on a jig, one, two, three, four, five, six, where, where those are dotted quarter notes, or they 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 get three beats. So it's like one, two, three, one, two. Right. So another um, another jig rhythm you could do would be to do all the eighth notes or every beat, like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you could accent the first of every three. And then a, a third kind of rhythm you could do for jigs, and this applies to waltzes, but both the, all these, is a, a long short. The long gets two beats, and the short gets one beat. Long, short, long, short. And if you do it, you'll notice the up bow, in order to, to balance out the length of bow you need for the down bow, the up bow will get a bit of an accent. will naturally happen. It's playing catch up. And then you can mix and match with all these patterns, but say we, we can do like, we can do like a, a, um, a long short into a, the, the triplets like. Okay, and so that's about it. You can take just take these few simple ideas and try them with all the chord progressions you already know, like you know, um, whatever chord.
chords you're working with, chord progressions, start trying these out. Of course, there's a lot more rhythms you could do. These are just some beginning ones to get you going. Okay, glad you made it. I'll see you next time. Check the comments field below for um, links to other videos related to this one. All right, see you next time.